Calls for justice were heard in front of Bronx District Attorney Darcel Clark's office by the family attorneys and civil rights leader Kevin McCall, all for 16-year-old Jamel Leach here, who on June 1st was beaten, tasered, allegedly by officers of the 52nd Precinct during a protest on Fordham Road in response to the death of George Floyd on May 25th in Minneapolis. These officers that did this to this young man should be fired immediately. Just like the police commissioner and the mayor has called for investigations to happen and things happen swiftly, but we need that same energy for these officers to be fired immediately. I just want answers. I demand justice. Saying the attack was unprovoked, his mother, Daisy Acevedo, with family members, are calling the actions on the part of the police excessive. The police department is supposed to take oath to protect and serve, not just us, the youth. The same way they took oath is the same way the day I gave birth to take oath to protect my child. And I would do so to my last breath. His cousin Jamil Miller says the only notification that Leach was in police custody came from the hospital asking for permission to treat him. And there's more. The department mishandled Jamel while in custody, forcing him to leave the hospital handcuffed and shackled in the back of an NYPD vehicle with no clothing and no shoes. We are grateful to the district attorney of the Bronx for opening a criminal investigation, which has been opened. Civil rights attorney Sanford Rubenstein also there to support the family. To tase someone in the face is a violation of the patrol guide. That's what happened here. And to make it even worse, this is a young 16-year-old boy. The brutality with which he faced, the brutality of these police officers is unacceptable in this city. Meanwhile, police officials would not comment beyond saying the matter remains under internal review. Well, they say they've met with the mayor and the police commissioner, and what's next is a sit-down with the Bronx district attorney, and they say their goal is for justice. Here on 161st Street, Arlene Makoko for BronxNet.